How's it going everybody? David Hedge here, House Hedge Gaming, and today I'll be unboxing of Dreams and Shadows from Greenbrier Games. Now this is a dark fantasy board game for two to six players. Last week we did the unboxing for Lost Ones. It's in the same realm of, of Dreams and Shadows, and I can tell you this right now, this one may end up being a much heavier game, both in gameplay, but also in weight, because this sucker is <laughs> a lot heavier than Lost Ones. So let's go on ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And I went ahead and pre-cut the plastic. So far, my record's been pretty, pretty even on the boxes. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it that way because I don't think anybody would want to see me struggle for about 10 minutes with a piece of plastic. Uh, I struggle with that way too often, and I don't know if it'd be entertaining for everybody, but we'll see. All right, so let's unbox this, and right off the bat... So Lost Ones, before I even look into this, Lost Ones had a very colorful um, facade on it. Like the artwork was eye-popping, eye-catching, it was amazing. This one, you can definitely tell it's going for a more darker tone. And plus, this I wouldn't trust this dark bird at all. Uh, it's just eyeing this person. I, no, I'm not trusting it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. So we have, first off, you get the Dreams of Dreams and Shadows game world. So this gives you a little bit of story building on what is going on in this world. We have the revised rule book. And the rule book, let's see here, we got a total of about 18, 19 pages. Uh, so it's a lighter rule book. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this sets up when we get on the table. Uh <laughs> I'll be back for you in a minute, because that's going to be a big mamma jamma. All right, so right here we have the different characters that you'll be facing, uh, similar to what we had for the Lost Ones. These are the character cards, uh, but it looks like we have our red caps. Uh, they use some of the artwork from Lost Ones for this, and I don't mind that at all. It's in the same universe, so it makes perfect sense to use the same kind of artwork for these characters than you would for Lost Ones. Uh, it looks like these are probably coins, like point values or currency in the game. Uh, and if it's like the other ones, let's pop one of these out of here. Uh, pops out nice, sturdy cardboard. Gotta love that. All right, we got more characters here. And it looks like we have different... Uh, these are probably going to be for the different scenarios when they come up. Uh, I'm very interested in seeing what this is. This I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, but both these are probably going to cause me problems in the game, but that's perfectly fine with me. And we have more ominous stuff. It looks like these are health points. Uh, this, let's turn it over. I thought it was going to give me a little bit of a, a little bit of a cheat because the last ones had like the locks and unlock type deal. Uh, but I cannot wait to see what these are. These are very interesting, but I'm taking it that these are, these have to do with your health, um, that's got to be some sort of like branches, some sort of tangle that will mess you up later on down the line. And we have our characters right here. And we have some big mamma jammas that we'll be dealing with. Uh, this guy and this woman right here, I'm pretty sure these are going to give me some trouble. And this one, like, this is like uh, Murderer's Row almost. Like, <laughs> the most wanted of who's going to take me out when I start playing this game. Uh, and then we have the different markers for each of the characters. And Gordon Alford, 2015. So a little copyright thing. Cool. Love it that you're using the space on that to get a little bit of recognition on there as a creator of a game should. And we look into this. And this is not... Okay, this isn't as heavy as the thought it was going to be. We got the different decks that you'll be utilizing throughout the game. We'll go into those in just a sec. We have the different character cards. And we we got a lot of interesting stuff here. And we have the standees for all the different characters you'll be facing and the characters you'll be playing as well. So I'm guessing the black ones will be for your characters. The red ones are definitely for the enemy. And we got some dice for combat because who does not love more six-sided dice with their games? Thank you for including these with games. Because sometimes you get a game and it's like, hey, you need about eight dice. And it's like, we gave you two. Well, we appreciate that. But uh, 
trust me, I have had to dig through so many different dice uh, over different games. So, all right, so let's go on ahead and cut this open. There we go. And let's take a look at some of these character cards, because this is... I'm thinking that this is going to be the main characters, but also is going to be a lot of the uh, villains you'll be going against as well. So we have the different stats for the characters here. This is a bit more or less, it has me a feeling of a very, uh, like an RPG, like a light RPG type thing. Uh, you got the affiliations, you got the starting locations, you got your starting resources, uh, and you have different abilities and actions you'll be able to use throughout the game like that so we have Hadrian we have Freya we have Anton we have Nora we have uh, looks like Tomlin or Tamlin I believe if I'm wrong I will definitely let you know and somebody in the in the comments will definitely let me know as well uh, please let me know all right so we have Natasha we have Celine we have Brom and we got Oblivion. Okay, so we got like different storyline cards here. A World Remade, Justice, A New Dawn, A Song of Hope, A Play of Light and Shadow. Uh, this looks like it's just a lot of stories and different things that we'll be encountering throughout the game. So I'm really interested. I'm not going to really go into like reading out any of these because this is just going to be amazing once i start getting this on the table and seeing these for the first time <laughs> and, yep i was right <laughs> we got the biggins all right so we have erwin uh who looks like he's gonna be really tough to hit really strong and he has a lot of vitality uh we have morgan uh, of course you're a morgan you look like a morgan uh and then we have the dragon yeah, that's uh, that's a mean-looking son of a gun. Uh, I will definitely try my best to stay away from them. Oh, we got other sides. Okay, so we got uh, Morgan, we have Arwen, and then we have the dragon. Uh, and yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I like that they're double-sided. So I guess for uh, when you begin the game, you'll start on this side, and then you'll flip over. Uh, so I should have started on this side, not this side. I do apologize. I will make sure when you see this video, you'll be seeing a thing right at the very beginning of the video. Uh, there may or may not be spoilers ahead. So uh, do keep that in mind. All right. So we have the different cards here. Let's just open this up and see what some of these cards look like. Through the magic of off screen, I'm just going to cut this. There we go. And, I like that we have the different backs on these. <laughs> All right, here's a game. Which one's for the good guys and which one's for the bad guys? Uh, I'm taking it this one's for the good. <laughs> so, uh, then again, maybe not because that doesn't look like a good guy there. So, this, like, this is the monsters that you will be facing uh, in the game. Uh, At least that's the way it looks. Yeah, it's epic foes. Uh, so it's the different uh, villains, the different minor villains you'll be going against when you face off against the different big bosses in the game. So we have those. We also have. Uh, so this is. Uh, so that's the creatures. So this looks like this is the different spells that you'll be encountering: uh, being entranced, being possessed, being uh, addiction, fear madness man the other madness on the lost ones was more playful this <laughs> uh no uh we have crippled we have poisoned and we have wounded so these are the uh afflictions that you'll have to deal with and then you have the monsters that will be afflicting said afflictions all right so we have the next one here so this must be the this has to be for the good guys then but this like both these decks are like just you'll get your base stats that's it <laughs> and then, uh, good luck. We'll see how it goes down the road. There we go. So let's go on ahead and bust this open here. And take a look at some of these. And we'll take a look at the backs here. Uh, I really like the artwork. Like, the symbols on these are really nice. All right. So we have things like leather armor, uh, male armor. So yeah, this is your equipment for adventuring in this. And plus the techniques. You get the distract. You get the flank. 
Onslaught, Sidestep, Hunters, uh, the Copper Crew, you have the Magi, Mercenaries, Knights, Shamans, Valkyries, Watchers, Lucky Coins, Spirit Totems, Ancient Tome, you have the Goblet of Life, Primordial Crown, the Dragon Scales, Fall the Storm, or Call the Storm, sorry about that, Heal, you get uh, Spirits of Rage, Wardings, Claymores, uh, you have the Cold Iron Glaive, Dueling Saber, Hollowed Blades. Yeah, so this is all your equipment that you'll be using throughout the adventures in this game and different events that will be happening and different tactics that you will be employing. But best of all, the artwork on these. Uh, whoever did the artwork on these, I need to take a look at it later. And when I do, I'll put it right here in the description below or just in a little crawl right here. Uh, I love the artwork in this game. Like this is very, really rich fantasy. You can tell that this is days of old. Like this is the medieval times. That this is the definitely some bleaker days that have had uh, in these lands. So I really do enjoy that. Now let's open up this last big pack of cards here. It looks like we have more story cards. We're just going to pass through. And it looks like that's what these are. It's the different... Okay, so it's the different campaigns that you'll be going through here when playing through this one of Dreams and Shadows. So we got these. Let me do a quick cut and then I'll open up this board and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the board. And I... I really like this. It's divided up in the four different regions. And you have the different... No. Okay, so here's the board. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but it's still a really beautiful landscape of the realm that you will be traversing in this game. So it looks like we have a turn marker type here. Uh, when I definitely find out about that, you'll be the first to know. Uh, it looks like those bigger cards with the different um, symbols on them. Looks like those are going to be encounter cards. When you go to certain spots, you'll be able to go and encounter that uh, land and have the different options, have a little adventure in that area. And then it looks like you have the health, and then hopefully this is spirit, or this might just be the world burning. But you have two different counters down here that might be the influence over the world. Uh, when it comes to the darkness and the shadows starting to spread, this might be the track that keeps um, the record of that. And this will probably be the health of the lands. But in my opinion, this game, just seeing the components on it, I can't wait to play it because this is going to be so awesome to get into this realm and to have like a bit of a lighter type RPG feel to it. Uh, so if you're wanting to do a bit of a campaign thing and you don't want to do a lot of the prep work like D&D and Pathfinder has, uh, this right here gives you a great basis to get that going. And if you're playing the game, you can probably encourage a little bit of role playing, especially when it comes to scenarios when you get to them. But we'll get into the gameplay at a different time. But that has been what you get inside of, of Dreams and Shadows and... I just got to say this right now, between this and Lost Ones, I'm looking forward to playing out this entire scenario. And this might be something that I'll try and do next year, uh, start in January and just play through the whole thing uh, to see what happens to these heroes, to see what happens to this land, and to see how the villains uh, deal with these heroes that are trying to stop their evil machinations. But thank you all so much for checking out this video. If you like it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let everyone know that House Hedge Gaming is here for all of your gaming needs. So until next time, everyone, stay safe and take care, my friends.